Well, well, hello, my lovelies. Spice the Nation Divine Wisdom in all four corners. Back at it again, here to chit chat to give y'all some spice tea. Look, we're gonna spice it up. Shit just got real. So, when I left off uh, with Adam and Eve on my last meet and greet with you guys, um, my chit chat, um, shit was getting real. The shit had just hit the fan. So, the serpent. The serpent that once was in service. He was a servant of the creator. Okay. He was the first man God had created. Now I'm about to dig because the Holy Ghost went to work on me after I had ended the last session. So, we all know. Hold that thought. My Heavenly Father, the creator of this world and universe and all the planets and stars and everything in this galaxy called Earth. Constellation, planet, whatever universe, whatever you, um, the collective choose to call it. Um, I block all negative energies and entities that may try to interfere with the divine message from source, the Holy Ghost, my spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. And so it is. Show them. Okay. Now, we all know that our days and numbers are not God's days and numbers. We don't, 10,000 years could be one day to God, okay? So, the seven days that he, that is noted, um, that it took him to create this magnificent constellation called Earth that we um, live in. It's noted that it took him seven days. But we all know that our seven days is not God's seven days. Because that could be 7,000 years it took him to create. All of this magnificence that we live in. This amazing, beautiful atmosphere that we thrive in. Okay. So, within 7,000 years, or what, what 6,000 years, the world was already thriving. Now, it don't say how long God rested. It just say he, he rested on the 7th. Day he took the seventh day to rest. Now it don't say how long God rested, and is God still resting? Because it could be another thousand years. Are we? What, 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 what we in? Twenty? We in twenty twenty one? So that's two thousand years already. Okay. That's noted. So, if God was resting on on the if he rested on the seventh day, he may be still resting. Who knows? But the spirit of God is always present, always present. He wa he watching. He can see everything. And everybody, and he know it all. And that's what's so amazing about our Heavenly Father. 
He created this. This is him. And him is this. Man. Ooh, and, and he created me, so he is me and I am him. That he created. He is in me. I am him creation. Him created. Him in me. Female. Hmm. Okay. Before I get too carried away. Because the Holy Ghost is something else. And I love God. So the world was already populated. And. The, the, serp, the serpent. That once was. A servant of the creator got too prideful or boasted up um, from all the praise from the world that he multiplied in numbers. God gave man the world when he created it. When he created him and his helpmate. They were created at the same time. Male and female. Okay, because I'm just going to break it down like this because I'm going to give it to you how the Holy Ghost gave it to me. In the beginning, it was dark and void. Okay, spirit was in the atmosphere. Okay, it was nothing. It was dark. It was void. It was without form. And the spirit of God and goddess was in the atmosphere. Okay. They didn't even know about each other. They in the atmosphere move into their own rhythm. Okay. The masculine energy had a rhythm. And the feminine energy had a rhythm. And they just flowing to their rhythm. To their beat. Okay. They had their own rhythm, and when they came together, they were in sync. And they liked it, the rhythm that they made together. It was harmony. Together, both of their vibes, oh, it was a positive force. They liked it, the sparks. You see, they vibration that... They sent out into the atmosphere, pushed them together. And the feminine energy, it flows like water. Real swift and smooth, it had a sway. And the masculine energy was stern and strong. And it had a strong vibration that, ooh. Like, it just was strong. And it vibrated throughout the atmosphere. And the feminine energy, she had a sway, like, out of this atmosphere. Okay? Her sway was powerful. And when she swayed, she swayed all throughout the atmosphere. And both of them vibes pushed each other together. And when they came together, they made a spark. And it was like, ooh, what's this? Because as they pushed each other together, the woman could no longer flow. And she's like, wait a minute. I can't flow. 
What is this? What's blocking me? And the man was like, ooh, he felt, he felt our vibe. He liked it. And they was making light, like firecrackers. It was like sparks. And it was like, what is this light? And that's why they said, let there be light. Because that was how they were communicating with them sparks and those lights. And that's how they got the idea of making stars. And putting their little lights everywhere. The planets. All them constellations and stars and galaxies and all of those little giant door stars and everything that they be studying. Yeah, them all guys kids. See, spirit didn't have, couldn't, spirit can't be contained. Energy can't be contained without a vessel. And so they wanted the God and goddess, the feminine and masculine energy spirit wanted to be able to experience love. So they was like, let us create a vessel so that we can be able to experience our creation through them. And that's why they made man in their image, in their image, so that they could be able to experience love. They wanted to be able to know what it was like to experience holding each other, loving each other, and creating beautiful magic and love. And so that's how we got me. Ain't God awesome? He is so me, I'm telling you. It's amazing. Look at God. They became one, a positive force, and a positive force they were. And they was a force to be reckoned. Okay? And they kept adding. They kept multiplying. And everything that they created was fruitful. And so, of course, when they thought about creating man... So that they can be able to walk and experience the world that they created. That they spoke into existence. They wanted to be able to experience that through us. But being that they are spiritual beings. And not Human beings, flesh, God gave it to his creation. And he was experienced, they experienced it through man because they breathed their life into them, into the male and the female. Okay, so as the male and the female that they created, and gave the world to to be fruitful and to multiply in numbers. They did that, and as they multiplied in numbers, they the 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 male he got and the female. I ain't gonna just put him out there like he all bad. You feel me? But it ain't all on us neither because we did what we was supposed to do. We was the helpmate. Okay, so they say we was the helpmate. We was to assist the the male in running and reigning over the world. Okay, so as they did, as they did that, man got full of himself. He got real full of himself, and he thought that he stopped talking to um, the Creator, God. He stopped talking to him, thinking that he didn't have to check in no more. And that, you know, he he did that because it was his kids and his grandkids and his grandkids' grandkids and their kids' kids and grandkids and grandkids that populated the world. So he felt like he was the Lord, God, 